Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz welcomed their first child, daughter Lucy Desiree Arnaz, in 1951. Lucille, who experienced multiple miscarriages, shared her concerns of being too old to have children in 1980. She thought she wouldn't become a mother due to her age. Lucille Ball turned to Catholicism to help conceive a child after experiencing multiple pregnancy losses in 1951. Desi's mother encouraged the decision, and five months after being instructed in the religion, Ball became pregnant. The birth of her child felt like a miracle, and Ball couldn't believe it. In 1952, an actress frequently sought parenting advice from famous friends like Jean Martin and Debbie Reynolds. Lucy, her daughter, recently revealed this to KCRW.com. She was always looking for answers and would ask others how they managed. In 1952, Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz were very busy due to their daughter's birth and the premiere of their show, I Love Lucy. Their daughter reflected on their hectic schedule and revealed that from birth to age 7, they weren't home often. In 1952, a Hollywood couple found time amidst their busy schedules to celebrate their daughter's first birthday with a cake. The sweet moment was captured in a photograph, showcasing the importance of family memories for even the biggest stars. In 1952, Lucille Ball became a mother for the first time. But her own childhood was difficult, with her father passing away when she was just four years old and her mother working while she lived with her grandparents. Lucy Arnaz, Lucille's daughter, revealed that her mother was flying blind when it came to being a mother herself. Desi Arnaz Jr., son of legendary actors Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz, was born back in 1953. The couple became a family of four with the arrival of their son, who would go on to become a successful actor himself. Desi, holding a proud papa mug, looks into his newborn son's eyes. Fun fact, Lucille and Desi Jr. appeared on the cover of the first ever national issue of TV Guide. Lucille Ball's real-life persona was different than her iconic TV character, according to her daughter, Lucy. Lucille was responsible and worried about her family, making sure everything was in order. This insight was shared by Lucy during an interview with the Television Academy Foundation. The couple, along with Desi's parents, celebrate their son's christening. Lucy Arnaz and Desi Arnaz Jr. cherished every moment of being together as kids in the 1950s. Lucy said grilled cheese sandwiches and chatting in the living room are some of her favorite memories with her brother, as their parents worked a lot. Lucy Arnaz, daughter of Lucille Ball, speculates about her mother's guilt as a working mom in the 50s. In an interview, Lucy shares her thoughts on her mother's struggles with balancing work and family. In 1954, the actress enjoyed cooking for her family, particularly chicken and dumplings. However, she didn't have much time for it according to an interview with her daughter. Lucille Ball, known as America's beloved redhead, believed that her family was her greatest accomplishment. Despite having a successful career, she revealed to the Washington Star in 1954 that her children were what truly made her happy. According to her, they kept her young and worried, but ultimately brought joy to her life. In 1956, Desi Arnaz reflected on his relationship with Lucille Ball and the success of I Love Lucy. Despite strains, he maintained their mutual love and respect, acknowledging Lucy's role as the star of the show. Lucille Ball was scared that her son, Desi Jr., would be pulled into the drug scene after he showed an interest in music as a child. She worried because his peers were much older than him at the time. Lucille Ball reveals secrets about her failed marriage to Desi Arnaz. Desi's struggles with addiction, gambling, and cheating led to frequent outbursts in front of their children, causing hurt in the family. Lucille shared these details during their divorce hearing in 1957. In 1959, I made my last effort toward a relationship with Desi. We took the children and 48 pieces of luggage to Europe, Paris, Rome, Capri, and London, the actress wrote in her autobiography. The kids saw and heard way too much.
Desi and I came back from the trip not speaking. Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz's split in 1959 was devastating not only for them, but also for their children. Lucy and Desi Jr. were heartbroken upon hearing the news, hoping that their parents could make up and avoid a divorce. Their reaction was shared in the book, Desilu, the story of Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. Lucille Ball feared her kids would prefer spending time with Desi Arnaz after their 1960 divorce. She believed her children loved their father's hobbies, including racing cars, fishing, and golfing. Lucille felt they were having a great time with Desi, which made her uneasy. In 1959, a famous star spoke about the challenges of parenting. They shared that while they accepted the responsibilities, it often felt like tedious tasks such as going to school, the doctor, and doing homework. Parenthood is not always glamorous for everyone, even celebrities. The reality of the kids' post-divorce life with their father wasn't what Lucille had imagined, as their daughter remembers avoiding Desi due to his temper. When it was at its worst, he'd blow up, Lucy explained to the Television Academy Foundation. If the TV was on too late, and it was bedtime, instead of saying, it's bedtime, doors would crash. It was awful. It was terrible. Then he'd be terrifically sorry and feel awful. After I got a little older, I stopped going down there. In 1963, actress Lucille Ball opened up about her rocky marriage with Desi Arnaz, saying it wasn't good, it was just long. However, she remained grateful for their two children and didn't consider it disastrous. Lucille Ball's children were upset when she decided to marry Gary Morton just one year after her divorce from Desi Arnaz in 1964. Lucy Ball later spoke about how this decision was like a knife in the heart for her and her siblings. It was a difficult time for the family. Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz's divorce in 1960 rocked Hollywood. However, their children, Lucy and Desi Jr., grew close to their mother's new partner, Gary Morton. The couple stayed friends after the divorce, which proved beneficial for their kids. In 1965, Lucy Arnaz began her acting career. Despite her famous mother Lucille Ball being in the business, Lucy was not pushed into it. In fact, according to Lucy, her mom wanted the opposite for her. Lucille, a woman without a high school diploma had an extraordinary love for words and writing. Her children always admired her immense vocabulary and her ability to communicate effectively even without a formal education. In 1968, a five-time Emmy winner took her kids to the set with her each day to keep them out of trouble. She pulled them out of school and had them see a tutor instead. She made this choice because she did not want her kids around their friends who came to set stone just to go to prom. In 1968, Lucy Arnaz appeared on her mother's sitcom, Here's Lucy, playing her on-screen daughter, Kim Carter. Arnaz followed in the footsteps of her mother, Lucille Ball, who was the star of the show. A mother's love and support for her children's hobbies is showcased in a new interview. Lucille Ball's daughter discusses how her mother encouraged their creativity by building a stage for plays and buying instruments for their passions. No matter what the hobby was, Lucille provided support. An actress from 1969 has long imparted wisdom to her children. Her daughter says one of the most memorable pieces of advice is, take care of yourself first. Put your oxygen mask on before anybody else. Here, the actress arrives at her daughter's bridal shower with her son and his date for the evening. Lucy Arnaz, daughter of legendary TV couple Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz, recently celebrated her 70th birthday. In honor of the occasion, a throwback photo was shared of her 1971 wedding to actor Phil Vandervoort, whom she met on the set of Here's Lucy. In the picture, Lucy's mother, Lucille Ball, looks gorgeous as the mother of the bride. In 1971, Lucille Ball's daughter married a man on her 20th birthday, but the marriage ended just one year later. Lucille wasn't surprised and recounted their one and only date in her living room. The wedding was a big event, but the marriage didn't last. 
In 1972, Lucille and her daughter watched Desi Jr. play basketball for charity with his girlfriend Liza Minnelli. Desi Jr. admits in an interview that it was actually Lucille who brought up the topic of marriage, warning them not to rush into it. Lucille Ball surprised Liza Minnelli with a scrapbook of childhood photos during a date with Desi Jr. Lucille was a close friend of Judy Garland's and watched Liza grow up. She shared the story in a 1972 interview. In 1978, an actress witnessed her children's biggest moments, including watching her daughter perform in Annie Get Your Gun. She was seen celebrating with her daughter and son backstage. Lucy Arnaz shares an emotional moment between her parents, Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz, before his passing. Their final conversation was filled with love and nostalgia, similar to two kids on a first date. Lucy Arnaz said it's tough to reminisce, but their love lives on in their children and fans. Lucy's legacy lives on with her daughter, who reflects on her mother's teachings of unconditional love. She believes that, I Love Lucy, could have been called, I Love Lucy Anyway, because the show was ultimately about forgiveness and love. Lucille Ball will always be remembered for her contribution to the entertainment industry.